Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Dental Mnemonics, the channel where learning is always smart and fun. Today's video is special because it is on behalf of a special request from one of our dental students who DM'd us on our Facebook page asking for help to make a video to remember the coagulation factor. So first of all, thank you for the request and we have tried our best to make it as easy as possible. So let's begin with the video. So we relate coagulation factor with a college freshers party. Coagulation seems somewhat written like college, right? The factor here stands for freshers as in factor and the party here is that though it's a college freshers party, students from grade 1 to 13 joins. So 1 to 13 here are the coagulation factors. So let's go towards the breakdown of the story. So our mnemonic is precious party today come let's sing and call seniors please 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 have fun. This is very obvious because in precious party all we like to do is sing and since this was a big party so they even invited all of their seniors and the main thing was they had fun. So here again you can see that the word unassigned has similar spelling to the word sing and senior since they are very superior so they have some power so for now just uh, remember these two things and i will discuss this in detail in our upcoming video so let's break down our mnemonic so freshers party today freshers for fibrinogen party for prothrombin and today for this tissue thromboplastin so factor 1 is fibrinogen factor 2 is prothrombin and factor 3 is tissue thromboplastin and we started by saying that coagulation factor is a college freshers party so start with freshers and party so continuing our second breakdown was come let's sing c stands for calcium so come stands for calcium which is factor 4 let's stands for labile factor also called proacelerin so our factor 5 is labile factor and remember i said that unassigned has similar wording to sing so this is very important because our factor 6 is unassigned and our factor 7 s stands for stable factor or you can remember by saying that to sing a song first the mic was unstable or unassigned and later it became stable so remember factor 6 is unsigned and factor 7 we continue with our mnemonics come let's sing so s stands for stable factor and now continuing and call seniors so and stands for anti-hemophilic factor a call stands for christmas factor or anti-hemophilic factor b and senior again remember i said that senior they are superior to the juniors so they have some power so S stands for Stuart and power stands for power. So factor 10 is Stuart power factor. And I said please have fun but I didn't say just one please, I said three please. I said this to relate it with hemophilia C which we will discuss in our upcoming slide. So for now just remember it's very important to have fun so they are like begging to have fun in this party. So please 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 have fun. So this please stands for plasma thromboplastin antecedent which is our factor 11 and have H for Hegman factor which is our factor 12 and finally factor 13 fun which is fibrin stabilizing factor. So now like in order to group this coagulation cascade like I said that factor 10 is very important because they are seniors and they have some power. So here we omit factor 10 because they have some special power. So since we omit 10, so we start with factor 12, then we come to 11, we omit 10, so that disappears, then comes factor 9, followed by factor 8. So these are very important because all of this belongs to the category of intrinsic factor. So in intrinsic factor, we skip factor 10 because they are seniors, so they have some power, so we omit them because it's only like juniors, they like to have fun for a while. So an intrinsic factor, it's only the internal faculty of uh, college freshers who are having fun. So factor 12, 11, 9 and 8 belongs to intrinsic factor. 
Now coming to extrinsic factor, the literal meaning of extrinsic is like to get help from outside. So for this we need some addition. And again here they need the help of senior because they have power. So we need something that adds up to the one that has power that is factor 10. And the easiest way to do that is 3 plus 7 is equals to 10. So the extrinsic factor involved are factor 3 and 7 because we did the addition. So factor 3 tissue thromboplastin and factor 7 stable factor. You can remember this from our mnemonic that we discussed. Now coming to the common factors like we did the addition for the in extrinsic factor. Now it's time for some multiplication or you can simply memorize in common there are 2m so in common factor we do multiply whereas in extrinsic factor we did the addition. So again we are doing this multiplication in order to reach our magic number that is the total 10. So the easiest way to reach 10 by multiplication is 1 times 2 times 5 is equals to 10. So that sums up. So for the common factor, the common factors involved are factor 1 followed by factor 2, factor 5 and factor 10. So this is just a summary table. For intrinsic factor, we did the omission that is we skipped 10 and we included 12, 11, 9 and 8. For extrinsic factor, extrinsic means they need extra help from outside. So we did some addition to reach the magic number 10. So 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. So the factors involved are 3 and 7. And for the common factor, since there are 2m in common, so we'll do the multiplication. So easiest way to reach the number 10 by multiplication is 1 times 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So on the common pathway, the factors involved are factor 1, factor 2, factor 5 and factor 10. So enough of math. So let's talk a bit about history now. Like in the year 1972, there was a massive massacre of 11 Israeli athletes at the Munich Olympic. So because of this massacre, the whole world went. So again, coming back to the topic, like the synonym of massacre is associated with killing. And now we associated killing the K with vitamin K dependent clotting factor. And we break down the year 1972 as 10, 9, 7 and 2. So see, it's very easy to remember now. So massacre, killing, killing, vitamin K dependent clotting factor and the year 1972. So the vitamin K dependent clotting factors include factor 2, 7, 9 and 10. And since this was a very heavy massacre, so every people in the world, they wept. So though they wept, at least they helped us with memorizing an important fact. So here WEPT, W-E-P-T, W stands for warfarin, E stands for extrinsic pathway. So the warfarin, they act on extrinsic pathway, not the intrinsic pathway. And PT stands for prothrombin time. So in order to access the warfarin, we use the prothrombin time. And not only this, like we can also relate this with another fact. So since warfarin, they act on extrinsic pathway, the heparin, they act on intrinsic pathway. And for warfarin, we use the prothrombin time the pt to access it whereas for heparin we use the partial thromboplastin time to access it so see just by a simple word wept in the year 1972 now we can easily memorize how the pathway works for warfarin and heparin also remember that in heparin the bleeding time is normal but the ptt that is the partial thromboplastin time it increases now coming to mnemonics for hemophilia A, hemophilia B and hemophilia C, like in our mnemonic, uh, it was in factor 8 that stood for and call senior. So like A stand for anti-hemophilic factor A. So the other way to memorize this is hemophilia A, the word A can be written as A I G S T 8. So hemophilia A is decrease synthesis of factor 8. Now coming to hemophilia B, the other name of hemophilia B is the Christmas factor and we know that Christmas is kind of incomplete without the Christmas tree. So first we write Christmas as XMAS and we draw the Christmas tree. So it looks like factor 9, right? So the decrease synthesis of factor 9 is hemophilia B. And remember I said please, please, please have fun. So this had some significance of writing this 3 please because like since there are three please so 
since C is the third letter of the English alphabet. So our please have fun. Please was factor 11 which stood for plasma tissue antecedent. So factor 11 or plasma tissue antecedent is associated with hemophilia C. So in hemophilia C we have decreased synthesis of factor 11. So to summarize hemophilia A is the decreased synthesis of factor 8. Hemophilia B is the decreased synthesis of factor 9 and hemophilia C is the decreased synthesis of factor 11. So before we say goodbye here is a quick summary table of what we learned today. So our mnemonic Precious party today, come let's sing and call senior, please 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 have fun. So we break down there and like it's very important to know that factor 6 like since the word unassigned has similar wording to sing so our factor 6 was unassigned followed by factor 7 with S which was stable factor. So in this mnemonic factor 6 is missing because it's unassigned and senior they have power. So s for steward and power for power and then we did some math for intrinsic pathway like we omitted factor 10 because in intrinsic only the internal faculty they wanted to have fun so only the precious they wanted to have fun so they omitted the senior that is factor 10 and we included factor 11 9 8 and uh, 12 we started with factor 12 so in intrinsic pathway factor 12 11 9 and 8 in extrinsic pathway like since extrinsic means external so we need some additional help to reach to factor 10 so we added to reach 10 that is factor 3 and factor 7 3 plus 7 and for common pathway since we have 2m so we did the multiplication and the easiest way to reach 10 by doing multiplication is 1 times 2 times 5 is equals to 10 so factor 1 2 5 and 10 are involved in our common pathway then we went back to history where in year 1972 the whole world wept because there was a heavy massacre and we associated massacre with killing so killing as in k vitamin k dependent factors were 10 9 7 and 2 and finally we ended our video by associating hemophilia a with 8 hemophilia b with christmas tree by writing x mass with a i or a christmas tree in front making it factor 9 and for hemophilia C, please, please, please have fun. 3, please. So since 3, C is the third letter of the English alphabet. So hemophilia C is the deficiency of factor 11, which is plasma tissue antecedent. So thank you. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video and will not forget the coagulation factors now. So if you need help with anything related to dentistry, please feel free free to comment below or dm us on our facebook instagram or tiktok page the links are in the description box and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel we are close to hitting that 1000 subscriber mark so until then see you next time and don't forget to keep learning keep smiling because smiling is the new fun thank you